long story short, I'm about to call my job and you'll see why. Um, I'm going to read to you a term that I heard yesterday at work around 8 p.m. Pick a ninny. So I don't know if I'm going to have to or if I'm going to be able to say the definition while I'm on the phone with my supervisor. I don't know if he knows what the term means. So I don't know. So I'm just going to say what the definition is now. Pick a ninny. A noun. It's offensive. It refers to a small black child. An adjective for it is very small. Picaninny is a word applied originally by people of West Indies to their babies and more widely referring to a small child. It's, it is a pigged in word. Pigged in is a grammatically simplified means of communication that develops between two or more groups that do not have a language in common. Typically, its vocabulary and grammar are limited and often drawn from several languages. So, picaninny is a pigden word formed, derived from the Portuguese pequeno, which means very small, and subsequently used in Canada and the U.S. as a racial slur referring to a dark-skinned child of African descent and modern sensibility the term implies an archaic deception of caricature used in a derogatory and racist sense, which I also seen child coon. When I look at me, what's it say? Okay. When I look at me, words that come to my mind usually is powerful, beautiful, smart, intelligent. You know, I see me, I think dimples, eyebrows done, but <laughs> didn't do it today. You know, these are words that come to my mind when I think of me. Very rarely, if ever, 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 Ever do I look in the mirror and think of the word pickaninny? And I just think that the universe is crazy because crazy, I guess in a good way, because I was just on the internet the other day. And I was, what's so funny? It's not funny at all, but I just, I think a lot of dark things are funny. I'm going to find it. Let me see. Was it on Instagram or was it on Twitter? Maybe it was on Twitter. Like, I literally, I literally just saw it. Okay, so, you know what? I'll just tell you what it was. So, this is just crazy to even have to sit here and think about this. Anywho, um... I was looking on my phone and um, I seen essentially it was a slave. It was a flyer about selling slaves and it had on there one buck, 47 years old, very strong and good health and for however much that they had there, which of course, obviously no amount is enough. Anywho, so then it, if I, it went on to say like one wrench, 30 years old, in good health, comes with two pickaninnies. So I'm like, you know, I see the word, I'm like, what is a pickaninny? What is that? So I Googled it, and then that's when I seen, you know, the definition. Maybe I'll move it and answer it here. But, you know, that's when I seen what it meant. I'm like, in the context that the lady used at my job when she said it, she said it was three older white women, and one of her friends said, I'm about to go smoke a, and, you know, she kind of stuttered because, you know, like she lost her train of thought, which is normal. And then the other friend said, yeah, me too. And then the lady in the middle who doesn't smoke says, 
she this I'll tell you how the whole let me just say how the whole phrase went. I'm about to go smoke uh she suggests pick a ninny. Let me show you how I was sitting here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my thing is, had I not looked up this word earlier this week, would I have known what it meant? I'm a curious person, so I may have still looked it up, but I was less likely to you know that just could have went by but this is ridiculous i'm stalling right now i'm just talking let me calm down so well no i mean just let me know um you know think about it what you want to do and then um you know we'll go from there so but yeah no i'm sorry you had to go through that all right thank you thank you all right have a good day you too bye You know what I should have did? I should have confirmed that I will not be there on Monday. But I'm going to send a follow-up message. Follow-up text message. You know, this is this is definitely confusing. This So I was at work and I had a woman. She was just, she was cool. She was great. We were getting along. She sits down, get the spill in her guts. I'm used to that. People come down, sit down, spill their guts, whatever. You know, they just be, just be a talking. My, my girl stood me up and uh, she stood me up and that's why I'm down here. Ooh, you going through it, huh? Do tell me more. Anywho, so I'm used to it. Whatever. So she sat down. She's spilling her guts. And she's just talking about she wasn't having a good day. So, you know, I'm just a, I'm an overall nice person. I'm nice. I don't really, I mean, of course, everybody has a mean side. I could be mean, but whatever. I'm a nice person. When I meet you, I'm open. You want to talk, we talking. That's that at the bar, at my bar. <laughs> And then we were just, you know, just having a good old time. She was telling me how her friends were coming. So her friends came, and that's when she started getting a little bit more tipsy. She started feeling her liquor, and, you know, I was being a little nice because, you know, she was having a bad day, so I'm here to help you out. I'm just looking out. You're having a bad day, so I'm just, you know, getting you together. So I got her together, <laughs> and she was feeling it. It was all cool until... Her friend gets up and say, um, I'm about to go smoke a, uh, I'm going to go smoke a, uh. and you know, she kind of lost her train of thought. She, she just could not think about what she wanted to go smoke. And then the woman that comes in, we're going to call her Karen. So Karen says, see, she doesn't smoke. But when her friend said, I'm about to go smoke a, uh, Karen suggests a pickaninny. <laughs> a pickaninny. Hmm. That's what you're going to go smoke a? You're going to go smoke a little dark-skinned child of African descent? That's what the word means. That's what it means. And then she goes on to suggest that, you know what, can I take you with me? Why don't you come back and work for me? You, you know what she does? 
she works in house cleaning. She has a house cleaning business. Her and a few other women. She doesn't own a restaurant. I'm currently bartending. So what am I going to come do for you? What do you want me to do? You want me to come clean houses? Who house? Who house? Who house I'm coming to clean? I was just wondering. Who house? I honestly think, like, to me, this means that this woman sat here, it was kiki with me, her friend suggests that she want to go smoke a, <laughs> first thing comes to mind, oh, a piccaninny, of course, absolutely, that's what we should smoke, a piccaninny. So, are you looking at me just thinking, like, I honestly, if you truly want to know what went through my mind when she said that, because I honestly, my initial reaction was not to get mad because I'm usually calm. And I, I tend to try to avoid confrontation. I just don't want to deal with it. But I'm about that action, so let's not forget that. You know, if I, if I got to, you know, we in there, but... <laughs> If I don't have to, I'm not doing it because nothing's worth it. Me being angry is not worth it. And it's hard to turn it off. And I just don't like being that mad. It's just, it's not worth it. So I just laughed it off, you know, because she wasn't talking to me. But the fact that you even thought to even use that word bothered me. Like, so this is what was really literally going through my head. Um, It just kind of made me feel like we just went to a past life. And she was a, a nice white lady that was nice to me as a slave. She was nice to me. I was a slave. This is my, going through my mind. In my past life, I was a slave. And I came across this lady and whatever I was doing. And she was being nice to me. And she wanted me to come work for her at her estate. That's how I felt. It's just confusing because, like, you just see me and you just suggested smoking a piccaninny. But, and then proceeds to say, can I take you with me? You can come work for me and do what? What am I doing here today that would suggest that I would come there and do that for you? Shame on you. Shame on you. Yep, I said it.
I'm sick of making excuses. I literally went through my head trying to make excuses for her. Like, you know, maybe some way she was saying this word to get me fired up so that I would want to quit because she didn't want to see me working there. Really? That's what happened. That's what happened. No, she's an older white woman. She used this word as a kid growing up. Because she heard her ancestors use this word and their ancestors before their ancestors have been using that word. And that is deep rooted inside of her DNA. And that's that. And so I called and I left them definitely with more questions than answers. And I'm probably going to send a text message saying that. Just so we, just so we're clear, I will not be there on Monday. And don't my unemployment.